piece that's uh, in the show uh, is called Lore. It's a whistling sculpture. The inspiration derived from these moche whistling vessels. Originally they made these, these clay pieces, normally no bigger than the size of a teapot, but there is this anomaly to them that anthropologists later discovered when you fill them with water, they would, they would make noise. And uh, I was pretty enamored with just the idea that, that this very inanimate object could, could speak. Something so ephemeral as sound can you know, be recreated through time. Like uh, that there's some sort of connection there to the past. This piece is kind of unique. I, I, I like the idea of, of bringing other elements into it, like um, that idea of weightlessness and balance. I like to think about these pieces maybe as something a little supernatural or something that's kind of timeless. Um, so I started creating this piece with the idea that, that it kind of levitates there on its point. So there was a lot of technical challenges with that. I needed to create a sharp radius that you know, balance on, which makes the entire piece very top heavy. In earlier pieces, I was using cables to tether them to, to a base for, for safety reasons anyways. And I, I really like the, uh, some of the bridges that you see around the city. These massive concrete counterweights to them um, and these big rusted out steel structures. And I, and I like the idea of bringing that element into it. But also this, this aspect of tension. I ended up continually adding weight to it to balance this thing on, on a sharper axis. So there's about 120 pounds of concrete down below, and then with the pulley, it's about 240 pounds of force just to upright this piece. I hope that people are kind of surprised. Maybe it brings some element of, of I don't know, whimsy to them. And I like just the idea of bringing some element of magic into our lives, you know, and curiosity. So that's really exciting to me. I'm Zach Music, and I make musical instruments.